Today's lesson is to use sum and difference identities to evaluate trig functions. Let's go over sum and difference identities first. We know for sum a plus or minus b pattern will be s c plus or minus c s. We have angle A, B, A, B. For cosine A plus or minus B, we got C, C, S, S. The sign will be different. This is A, B, A, B. Try to remember this pattern. Now let's go to number one. We know for cosine alpha equals uh, negative three over four, alpha is between pi over two to pi. And uh, sine beta equals negative three over five, beta is between three pi over two to two pi. Find the uh, cosine alpha plus beta and uh, sine alpha minus beta. We know for cosine alpha plus beta, that's a C, C, S, S minus. Put the alpha, beta, alpha, beta. If you want to figure out the cosine X plus beta, you need to figure out the cosine alpha, sine alpha, and uh, sine beta, cosine beta. For Sine alpha minus beta, we know that pattern will be S C C S. Same sign. Here's alpha, beta, alpha, beta. Therefore, the first step, we know this is 0 pi over 2 pi. 3 pi over 2 and a 2 pi. We are given alpha between pi over 2 to pi. That means a second quadrant. So I write down second quadrant. The coordinate will be negative x, positive y. And a CST sign positive because all students take calculus. Therefore, cosine negative, tangent negative. For beta, beta between 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi, that means uh, the fourth quadrant. Coordinate will be positive x, negative y. C S T cosine positive sine and a tangent will be negative. That's working on for alpha. We know cosine alpha equals negative three over four. We label as the x over r. So we got the x equals negative three, r equals four y equals check here that's positive so i write down positive square root 4 square minus a negative 3 square you will get square root of 7 therefore for sine alpha we got square root of 7 over 4 we got the cosine alpha, sine alpha. Let's go to sine beta and a cosine beta. For sine beta equals negative square root of 3 over 5, it's given. We label as y over r. So this x equals, still check here, that's positive. We do square root. R is a 5 square minus a 
negative square root of three squared. Twenty five minus three that's square root of twenty two. Therefore, for cosine beta equals x over r means、uh, square root of twenty two over five. So we have this ready and a cosine beta ready. Now let's working on cosine alpha plus beta. That's、uh, cosine alpha, cosine beta, minus、uh, sine alpha, sine beta. So we plug in for cosine alpha that negative three over four times cosine beta. That's a、uh, Square root of twenty-two over five minus sine alpha. That's a square root of seven over four times sine beta. That's negative square root of three over five. Do multiplication. Denominator multiply is twenty. Negative three square root of twenty-two. Negative, negative. That's positive. We got plus twenty. Numerator inside this square root multiply. That's twenty-four. It's already simplified. So final answer, since we have the same denominator, I got negative square root of twenty-two plus square root of twenty-one. That's for cosine alpha plus beta. Now let's go to sine alpha minus beta. Here is the pattern. That is a sine alpha cosine beta minus a cosine alpha sine beta. Then we plug in sine alpha. That is a square root of seven over four times. Cosine beta. That's square root of twenty-two over five minus cosine alpha. That is a negative three over four times a sine beta. That's a negative square root of three over five. So we do multiplication. Got the twenty. Numerator multiply. Inside multiply. That's a one fifty-four. It's already simplified because you cannot divide it by four, nine, twenty-five, forty-nine. Negative, negative will be a positive. Then we have minus twenty-three square root of three. Since we have the same denominator, I can put this together. You got square root of one fifty-four minus three square root of three. This will be the answer for sine alpha minus beta. Now let's go to second example. Tangent alpha equals two square root of three over five, and alpha is between pi and three pi over two. That means it's the third quadrant. For cosine beta equals four square root of three over seven. And a beta between three pi over two to two pi, which means the fourth quadrant. We are looking for cosine alpha minus beta and a sine alpha plus beta. We know for cosine alpha minus beta pattern is C C S S plus. We got the alpha beta alpha beta. For sine alpha plus beta, that's a S C C S is plus alpha beta alpha beta. This is the formula. First of all, we go to the quadrant for alpha, get the coordinates. Third quadrant, we got negative x, negative y. C S T 
positive for tangent, for cosine sine is negative. For fourth quadrant beta, that's a positive x, negative y. We know C as T, that's positive, negative, negative. So for tangent alpha equals 2 square root of 3 over 5, we label as y over x. Since y and x both negative, so I put the negative here, which means y equals negative 2 square root of 3 and x equals negative 5. Therefore, for r equals square root negative 2 square root of 3 square plus negative 5 square. You will get 4 times 3 because negative 2 square is 4. Square root of 3 square is 3 plus 25. You got square root of 37. Therefore, for sine alpha, you will get the y over r means uh, negative 2 square root of 3 over square root of 37. You don't have to simplify now. The last step when you're working on cosine alpha minus beta, we can simplify. For cosine alpha, we got x over r means uh, negative 5 over square root of 37. Since this is a go-to third quadrant, sine and a cosine is negative. That means we are on the right track. So we need this. Now let's go to beta. We are given cosine beta equals 4 square root of 3 over 7. We can label as a x over r. So we got the x equals 4 square root of 3 and r equals 7. Therefore, for y equals, y is negative. So put the negative sign, square root, 7 square minus 4 square root of 3 square. you will get negative 49 minus 48. 4 squared is 16, square root of 3 squared is 3, that equals negative 1. Therefore, for sine beta equals y over r means negative 1 over 7. We got the cosine beta and a sine beta. First of all, we're looking for cosine alpha minus beta. According to the pattern, we know that is cosine alpha, cosine beta, plus sine alpha, sine beta. So we plug in now. Cosine alpha, that's negative 5 over square root of 37 times. Cosine beta, that is... Uh, 4 square root of 3 over 7 plus sine alpha, that is a negative 2 square root of 3 over square root of 37 times sine beta, that's negative 1 over 7. Denominator multiply, we got the 7 square root of 37. Numerator, you got negative 20 square root of 3 plus 7 square root of 37 top that's the negative negative is positive 2 square root of 3 since we have the same denominator i can put this uh, together negative 20 square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 3 simplify top we got negative 18 square root of 3 over 7 square root of 37. Then this time, you can simplify. For square root of 37 as denominator, 
we know one over square root of a. We got square root of a over a. So we got square root of thirty-seven over thirty-seven. Then seven carry on negative eighteen square root of three carry on. Then we do multiplication, and this will be the final answer. Now we're working on sine alpha plus beta. According to the formula, we got sine. Alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta. We need to plug in. That's a sine alpha. We got negative two square root of three over square root of thirty-seven. Cosine beta. That's a four square root of three over seven. Plus cosine alpha that is negative five square root of thirty seven times sine beta that's negative one over seven. So we do multiplication seven square root of thirty seven as a denominator. Negative two times four that's negative eight. Then square root of three times square root of three that's a three. Negative, negative. That's positive. We got the denominator. That's a seven square root of thirty-seven. Top. That's a five. So we got same denominator. Seven square root of thirty-seven. Negative twenty-four plus five. Negative twenty-four plus five. That's negative nineteen. Seven square root of thirty-seven. Final answer will be negative nineteen square root of thirty-seven over two fifty-nine. That's for sine alpha plus beta.